Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Kaylee. Today I needed to go grocery shopping, so I thought I would bring you guys along with me, show you guys everything that I get. I live with my boyfriend, so I usually get like stuff that'll last both of us all week, maybe two weeks. So I like to go to Costco for a couple things, and then I also go to Trader Joe's, just because some of the stuff doesn't last us as long, like fresh groceries, stuff like that. So I like to go to kind of both. It saves us a lot, little bit of money going to Costco and then Trader Joe's. Gotta go to Trader Joe's. Love everything from Trader Joe's. Right now, I'm gonna go get coffee and then after that, I'm gonna go grocery shopping, but I'll kind of like take you guys along and show you everything that I get. I just stopped and got a little coffee from this little bakery. I was gonna go to Starbucks, but guys, look at this line right now. I don't know if you guys can see. The line is literally all the way over there and that is Starbucks. So I was like, I do not want to wait that huge line for like 30 minutes for a cup of coffee so I went to this little local bakery across the street and they just have like drip coffee and stuff so I got a little drip coffee support local businesses am I right I'm going in any of you can relate we like can't go into the grocery stores without a face mask on it's like actually crazy so, um, Corona, but make fashion. Let's go. I just got back into my car from going into Costco. That was actually insane. There was no line outside or anything like that, which I'm so thankful for, but the line to, like, check out was literally insane. Next stop is to go to Trader Joe's. I... Honestly, I don't really want to drive all the way over there, so I think instead I'm gonna go to H-E-B. I can't decide. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the HDB just because I need some trash bags and toilet paper and I feel like the HDB is gonna be a lot better for that versus Trader Joe's, but yeah. So, sorry for everyone that thought I was gonna go to Trader Joe's. Sometimes I shop there, but sometimes I don't. And HEB is like right around the corner from my house. So, I think I'm gonna do that instead. But yeah, so I just wanted to kind of update you guys. Um, once I get home, I'll kind of show you guys everything that I get from both of the stores. So, I just got back from the two grocery stores that I went to. I kind of got a lot of stuff. I went to, sorry, my hair is, I don't even like know what's happening with my hair today, but it's fine. I went to Costco and I also went to HEB. If you don't have have an H-E-B where you live, it's very similar to, I would say, kind of like a Albertsons or Safeway. I'll kind of like tell you guys as I go what I got from which store. So that you guys, if you guys want it, you guys can go get it. Do let's get into this haul. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. First off, I got a huge bag of lemons. I got these at Costco. I drink lemon water with ginger literally every single morning, so I like to have be stocked up on those. I got some bell peppers. We really like to put these in eggs and any kind of like stir fries that we do. They're really good for vegetable stir fries, anything like that. Also Costco, and then I got some spinach at HEB. I get two bags of spinach. We go through spinach a lot just because we put it all in our smoothies. I got some tomatoes at Costco. We put these in our salads and on top of like chicken and everything like that, so we like to get it in bulk. I also got some chocolate. I make cookies a lot. And I also got zucchinis. I got two of them just because I do like zucchini noodles on pasta. I also got a thing of spinach a big big thing of spinach for salads and then I got some yogurt if you guys know me I used to be dairy free for like over two years and I recently just started incorporating dairy back into my diet kind of like a learning process but I got this yogurt it's my favorite dairy yogurt so far that I've tried it has 15 grams of protein I get these ones just because they're easy to take on the go and then we also get this one because it's just easier to eat at home we can like spoon it into whatever bowl that we want to use and then I also got some rice cauliflower packets I got these in bulk just because I thought it would be a lot easier every time I get rice cauliflower I don't know about you guys but it always goes bad so I feel like this will kind of like keep it fresher for a lot longer I got some whole wheat English muffins I like to do this with like hummus and egg on top I know that sounds weird but it's really good you guys should try it I got some mushrooms because who doesn't like mushrooms I've been using these strawberries putting like 
monk fruit sweetener on top kind of like a dessert It's really really good. So got some parmesan cheese because I can have dairy now Parmesan cheese is literally my absolute favorite So I got some of that and then just some roasted garlic hummus for like chips and everything but I got these chips I was gonna get the chips that I normally get which are the grain-free tortilla chips But these ones looked really good. So I got these instead. I also got some coconut whipped cream I also have been putting some of this on my fruit for like a little dessert the best like dairy-free one that I've tried Okay, moving on over here I got a yellow a sweet onion and then I also got a red onion and then I got some green onions sweet potatoes I got some frozen blueberries we like to put this like in our oatmeal or so with my whipped cream and fruit I got a bunch of oranges from Costco like we eat these a lot especially right now lots of vitamin C gotta keep our health intact I got this from Costco as well it's um, a probiotic granola it's my favorite to kind of like put in my yogurt the macros aren't very great I usually do like half a serving just because it keeps me on track but love this one super super good you can also make your own granola I've done that a couple times I'm I've just been lazy recently so we're getting this one a bunch of bananas and we got them really green because we still have some that we need to go through before we start on these ones over here we have some PB2 powder I put I literally use this like twice a day I'm not kidding I use it in my smoothies in oatmeal literally every Everything. We needed some cumin just because I like cooking with cumin and we haven't had it since we moved to Texas So I got some of that. I just got some organic pasta sauce. This one has really clean ingredients That's why I got it if it my camera will focus I don't know if you guys can read that and then I got some garbanzo beans I got two of them. I kind of want to like try these baked in the oven I feel like a lot of people have been doing that recently and I wanted to try it out So I got some of those to do that and then I got this salsa We like to put salsa on top of our eggs and just like salad stuff like that this one also has like very clean ingredients and I also got some trail mix I love this one just because it has fruit in it the macros are like pretty I mean they're like not the best but this one's my favorite and we're quarantined so we're treating ourselves and then last but not least I have kind of like all the meat and just like the random stuff that I got we always get these chicken tenderloins from Costco just because we eat a lot of chicken and get like a huge bag of them we needed some egg when I eat eggs I usually do one egg and like one egg white we still had some egg whites so I didn't get those but normally I would get some egg whites with these as well got some turkey bacon I got some lean ground turkey and then I got some lean ground beef I like turkey Bryson likes beef so we got one of each some random stuff I got some onion powder as well because we were out some ditch soap some parchment paper for some cookies trash bags and toilet paper this was like the only brand that they have it was kind of weird but that's just what I went with. So that is everything that I got at the two stores that I went to. Keep in mind, like, this is for two people and it should last us about, like, a week and a half. I normally do, like, a mini grocery run in the middle of the stocked on all, like, the fresh ingredients that we need because those go by a little bit faster than, like, the chips and the granola and stuff like that. Need to put all this away now and need to do a workout. I think I'm gonna take you guys through my workout today, a upper body and core day, and I'm gonna take you along with it. I asked you guys what you guys want wanted me to film for you guys and a lot of you said you wanted me to walk you guys through my workouts by the way if you're not following me over there it's just at Kelly Campbell you can follow me we can chat become friends everything like that so I am gonna put all this away and then I will see you in the workout part of this video so all you need is a pair of dumbbells you can use a can of beans if you don't have them you can use like water bottles whatever you have but yeah let's just get right into it
video. I'm like so sweaty right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss another video from me. Also, if you guys have other video ideas, definitely leave those in the comments below so I can check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.